Hi everybody and uh, welcome back to the Astrology Beginner's Guide and uh, today in part two we're going to be discussing the Sun, Moon and Ascendant. Okay. Now, um, before we go into that, uh, I really hope that you enjoyed part one and it gave you um, some orientation towards uh, what the foundation of the natal chart is about and um, just a, a very strong overall sense of uh, what it is that you're first going to meet when you uh, get into the world of astrology. So just a quick reminder of some of the fundamentals there. Uh, remember, the natal chart is the core essence of um, your beingness and your sense of self and uh, that is obviously uh, drawn on uh, the time of your birth the specific date the specific time and the place and country that you were born and that that vibration that's that energy that was available that the way that the world was at that point in time is anchored into yourself and then that becomes your fishbowl your kind of like perspective on stuff and how you look at the world is always going to be filtered through that and so understanding your natal chart is a very powerful way to really get in touch with how you interact with the phenomena of reality. Okay, so when we look at uh, part two and we begin to now explore a little bit deeper around these concepts that you will come across in astrology, the sun, the moon and the ascendant, for me personally, play a very important role in how you as a human being are going to be relating to your destiny. Okay, now um, in part three, I talk about these uh, concepts called transpersonal planets. Okay, and these energies are more metaphysical, whereas the sun, the moon, and the ascendant, um, and you'll come across this word called luminaries, they represent more of a way in which you are becoming conscious of your life. That's how I like to look at it. It's the parts of the natal chart that, when you look at, bring a very strong sense of identity to you. On a very personal level, a personality level, okay? And because the natal chart in astrology is such an enriching and diverse and very um, complex uh, uh, universe, because we as human beings are reflecting that because that's what we are, the sun, moon, and ascendant really gives us a very, very clear window of being able to touch something that's more tangible and say, ah, I can relate to this more very vast experience of who and what we are. Okay, so um, a great way to actually relate to it, and I use this all the time, is imagine if you were sitting in a room and there was a window and this window was colored blue, okay? And when you looked out into the world, it was colored, or the world was colored by the shade of blue as you looked out the window. And when everybody looked at you through the window, they also saw you through this blue. And that's kind of a way in which you can relate. The, the blueness in the window is this, shade that get manifested from the sun moon and ascendant okay so again as you can see it's a very it's something about your personality and how you relate to it okay so i've got my little um slideshow for everybody here and we'll get that up and going right so what is the sun okay the sun in the natal chart is your creative spark now remember i spoke about these three symbols these three aspects as a trinity okay three so there are these three fundamental aspects that when put together create this kind of glass shaping this grass this glass coloring okay now when we look at them individually the way that you relate to your sun is like this the sun is your creative spark okay the representation of the sun sign in your astrology chart shows us how the soul so how you is going to be about being creatively actualized in this lifetime okay how are you going to be creatively actualized now you can see by that picture over there that the sun sits in the middle it's where the fire comes out and so the sun represents this part of yourself where you are here to burn the brightest you are here to learn about these things and when you look at the sun in the cosmos in the universe in the the actual way in which um, the solar system is set up it's this bright burning ball that gives and emits light frequency okay and so the light in your chart is a great it sheds light on the rest of the chart right so imagine if the sun wasn't there all of those planets wouldn't be vibrating they wouldn't have that frequency we wouldn't be able to see it 
but as soon as the sun comes into the chart, it brightens it up, and all of a sudden these planets get seen, right? The sun, the light bounces off the planets and it comes back at you, and you're like, oh, that's Jupiter over there, that's Mars over there, etc. So the whole entire chart gets anchored through and transmuted through the sun sign. So the sun sign is the way that you bring your, your color into the world, okay? So, for instance, if you've got sun and Scorpio, like I have, okay, the story of my chart and what it means gets amplified through the coloring of Scorpio. It's here to transmute, I'm here to empower, right? You get it? So, giving a personal form and adding light to your journey here on Earth, okay? It also is the reason we all know our sun signs. Why? Because it's the brightest. Most of us get in touch with the sun sign first. Oh, I'm a Libra, I'm a Taurus, and so on and so forth. Okay, think about it, okay? So, on your birthday, when the sun is shining on you, where, all, where is all the attention, okay? Do you see, we, we're creating this imagery of what the sun means, it's the attention, as I've explained. Okay, so it's on you. Now, you are the center of attention, and the center of attention as the sun is the way that you're gonna be basically giving all the life to your life, okay? So it's very important to understand that this is this life. So the sun also reflects an outward force, your creative spark, and it shows how you are creatively actualizing yourself, okay? So the way that you represent yourself in the world, if you've got Sun and Libra, you're going to creatively self-actualize through teaching people and sharing the idea of harmony and balance and what is the correct way to see things, okay? What is equal? What is justified? You're learning those themes and then you'll begin to, to shine it in the world for us to see and you illuminate this constellation, okay? So the Sun is this illumination, okay? It's this bright light, and we come here and it gives color to things. Now, we look at the moon then, okay? The moon is your self-identity. This is a very powerful thing to understand, okay? Remember the sun is burning bright? Well, the moon creates this identity in which you relate to yourself on a moment-to-moment, -moment, week week-to-week, year-to-year basis, or month-to-month -month basis, okay? So, we enjoy the light from the sun during the day and then the comforting glow of the moon at night, okay? But the light coming from the moon is an illusion. And the reason why is because, as you know, you're actually seeing the reflection or the reflected light from the sun bouncing off the moon. So it acts like a mirror. So the sun gives light and the moon reflects it. So you can see when you put these two things together, okay, You've got this, apart from the reflection of the light, she, she orbits around the earth and moves through each, 12, through each of the 12 astrological signs, okay? Reflecting to us and helping us become aware of the totality of our birth chart as it touches the different aspects. So that's why I have a picture on the left-hand side over there. The moon goes around the 12 signs in a 28-day cycle, spending two and a little bit days in each constellation. Now think about this, right? If the moon is reflecting light from the sun, mirroring, then as it goes around your chart every single month, it will hit different points of your chart, creating what? A reflection. And so as you grow through your life, the moon is consistently through its cycles, reflecting to you consistently what these chart symbols and aspects and all of these things are about. And so as you go through your life, you relate to yourself through these dynamics. It creates an identity. And this identity in itself then becomes the way in which you relate to yourself, like I said. Okay, you see how beautiful this is in terms of the sun and the moon going around like this, okay? So the moon goes around the constellation, 28 days. We have a new and full moon. You can learn about that. Um, actually, I do new and full moon reports, and you can uh, actually see how that gets anchored in when I write about them as I watch the sun and moon transit over, etc., right? And that's how we evolve. We're... The sun and moon is consistently moving around, evolving these different archetypes as we get more in touch with them, okay? Right, so the next step and the final part of this process is the ascendant, okay? Now, the ascendant is your self-discovery, okay? Now, remember in the first video, I said to you that the ascendant represented the rising sign, okay? This is what it was called, and do you know why? Remember, I explained to you that the planets the houses and there's this chart and then I said that the constellations move clockwise like this so every single minute of our day 
the constellation is rising and it consistently rising, 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 right? So at say for instance 12 o'clock in the day, Scorpio is below the horizon. And then at say for instance 10 past 12, Scorpio is now one degree above the horizon. And then at say for instance three o'clock in the afternoon, Scorpio is now 15 degrees above the horizon. And it's consistently rising. That's why it's called the rising sign. Now the point here is that whatever is rising is obviously unconscious until it becomes conscious, right? Remember? So it's the rising sign and it's the path of your self-discovery because in each day of your life, you're consistently waking up, rising up, and you're learning to discover yourself in new ways as the moon and the sun and all the planets are moving around with these beautiful cycles revealing to you how your consciousness is moving and awakening. So the path of self-discovery. The purpose of the Ascendant is to reflect to you the natural path of discovery, right? Something that is very natural. It cannot, it cannot be thought of because it hasn't, it's coming from unconscious behavior. So this is the part of your life that is called and has been seen as the rising sign. The sign rises or the sun rises over, over the horizon and is in a constant state of becoming, right? We are always in a constant state of becoming aware, okay? As when you first watched this video, you weren't aware of these things in this way. And now as you've watched it, you've become aware of it. It's integrated in you. It's rising in you. This, this truth is reflected in our unconscious actions of becoming conscious through the instinctual action, right? Just acting, oh, that's what I'm discovering in the day, okay? And this is how we actualize our desires. You get it? So that's why the picture on the left-hand side is how the sun is rising, is below the horizon and it consistently keeps rising. Now, when you have all three, or if you let me do this over here quickly, let's just move it over to, to there, there we go. So this is a beautiful way to understand how this works. If you have a look on my picturing over here, you can see there's a perspective, okay, there, all right, that's the eye. Can you see there's light from the sun? And you can see that there are water droplets, say droplet A and droplet B, right? The water droplets is water, moon reflection. What is it reflecting? It's reflecting the light. And what are we seeing? Colors. So we are seeing the spectrum of our consciousness as colors through the connection of the sun, light, and water, moon, reflection. And that's how we get to see ourselves. And that's why the, the sun, moon, and ascendant is the way in which we get to see the reflection of our more deeper unconscious soul stories. Okay. And that's why you can see this, this, um, picture here on the left on the right hand side where it's the triangle is the rising sign okay that's the body the personality our perspective sorry our, our, our body our, the, our eyes and then as the light transmutes through the reflection of our of the way we see things the color comes out and we basically get to see who we are all right beautiful explanation and there's the trinity again sun moon and ascendant the sun and the moon create our self-discovery, and that's what we're here to do. That's why we're here. We're using astrology, okay? And that's the magic that happens when you learn about astrology um, in your day-to-day -day things. When you read your sun sign, you're like, wow, I'm discovering myself. And it's like, now I'm coming into color, just as this video is doing for you, okay? All right, guys. Um, thanks very much for listening to this part two video. I really hope that you enjoyed this series so far. Um, and uh, in part three, I'll be talking about more transpersonal unconscious patterns and how we connect to the soul. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.